Okay, so here's a flower pot that I carved, burnt, and show sous it band green and blue yesterday. Well, it's just too dark, and I'm not happy with it. I put the spire varnish on it, it just made it way too dark. So let's go over today and have another try at it. I'd still be able to sell this, but whatever. Okay, so like I said, I wasn't happy with the last Soshugi band thing I did because the cedar was just too old. So old cedar means dark cedar, western red cedar. Okay, so what I'm going to try today, so yesterday was unsuccessful for me. So this is how I do it, guys. If something's unsuccessful, if you can try it next day, try it, try it the next day on, a, on another piece of wood. You know, just keep trying, guys. That's, that's what I suggest, and that's what I'm doing with the Shosugi band. I, I hope this wood is not as old as the last piece I did yesterday. And it is whatever. So what I'm going to do is carve like ghost spirits in here. Because I'm going to burn the hell out of this with my torch. I'm going to carve a ghost spirit. I don't know if I'm going to do one, two, or three. Well, there's at least two. One here and one here. Okay, so I'm going to, it's just going to, because you guys, when you burn your wood spirits with a torch, you're burning away your detail, okay? So I'm carving basic, basic wood spirits on here with zero detail to burn deep in this. And this will be my next attempt at the Shosugi Ban. This is Western Red Cedar too, okay? So guys, I got told that Cutsall has all the burrs back in stock. Right now, here's a quarter inch extreme flame burr. And an electric old school electric die grinder. Here's a Makita die grinder with another cut saw burr. Quarter inch. I got this shaping disc. Okay. This is on a die grinder. This is for more experienced carvers, guys, because this thing can kick back like crazy. And I'm telling you, it's a skin ripper. Then I got this little small burr on here that's all clogged up. I'll need to burn that out, clean it out. But you guys can go to the link below. Because they have the extreme uh, 1 8 extreme flame burrs in stock right now at cuts all. Use the code CFUSION to save yourself 5%. Okay, so let me get on with this. I don't want this to be too long of a video here. One more thing I should say if you guys want to learn how to carve a wood spirit step by step, the way I do it, you can go to my playlist um, and look up step by step tutorial carving a wood spirit. Okay, so I got one on here and I got two up there. So one, two. Okay, so here's what we got so far. Just lightly carved in there. One, two faces, okay? See, there's barely even depth. Or I'm not even going to clean it up because all this is going to get burnt deep. And this no, everything's going to come way down after I burn it. Maybe I should do one more small face up here. So I can make it three. Somebody once told me, yeah, odd numbers. Yeah, I think one more little one up there. Okay, so I'll get that done, and then I'm going to get moving on to my, uh, start using this grinder with this cut saw disc on here to uh, do lines and stuff like that, okay? One more little face right up here. Actually, I chose not to because I'm going to cut this piece here. You can see a crack coming down here, so I'm going to cut this off here. Okay, guys, so I'm all set up to burn. My turbo torch you guys have I have a little water bottle by me so if something's like when I'm doing this face I get it wet so it doesn't burn too much detail right it doesn't burn the detail away you can still if that makes sense get it wet and also when something's smoldering you can hit it with this and also guys when you're gonna do burning have a fire extinguisher around or something I got one behind me back here okay I'll get this burnt
Okay, so that's a hell of a lot of burning done. You can see there the wood cracked, big deal. Big deal, faces are still there, but we'll see what they look like when I'm done bristle brushing it off. You guys, I don't, I don't suggest you use sandpaper. I'll explain after I do it, okay? With these, I got these things here, these bristle discs. I think I paid $30 Canadian on Amazon for a set of three. Okay, this is the harder grit. Second harder grit, finer grit, okay? So you get three different grits for 30 bucks, so 10 bucks each for one of these. You get the set for 30 bucks. Just go to my Amazon store below if you want, and you can see them down, down in the Amazon store. They're bristle thing, flap wheels or something. Okay, so man, I gotta spend, I'd say at least a good hour and a half cleaning this up. The more time that you spend cleaning this, give me, let me give you an example. The more time that you spend going over top of it, the brighter it's going to come, okay? And if you use sandpaper on this stuff, believe me, this is from experience and it's only my opinion. If you use sandpaper, you're going to lose those grain marks. You're going to lose that dark mark, okay? Because you'll sand that right off. Because this dark mark is harder part of the grade and it's elevated off the white part of the rain. So if you use sandpaper, this whole thing will be smooth and you'll lose all those dark marks. Okay, so you can use emery cloth. You can use, uh, I think Pete used emery cloth for all his hearts. You can use uh, bristle brushes like this. You can use like dish, any, any nylon stuff. You can use like for dishwashing those brushes things. Okay, so I'm gonna get this done and then we'll figure out what color we're gonna wood dye it. I'm thinking red and green. Kind of like a native color, right? Red, green. I got red, green, blue here. They say, the color book says, blue and red don't go together. But, uh, I don't know. I kind of don't follow by the rules, so we'll see. Sorry guys, don't forget your dusk masks. Very important. Okay, you guys can see here, I got all that char stuff off. There's a couple worm holes in here, like that. There, I don't care, okay? Around here, lets people know it's real wood, okay? So, you can see the grain popping out now. This is this is going on point. It's lighter wood, guys, so the, like once again, the old western cedar won't work because it's just too dark. Let's do a quick spit test on this. You can see even how dark that's gonna go, okay? But, I'm not done buffing this out guys the more you buff it out the more time you spend buffing it out the more the bright colors like this are gonna pop okay this is harder wood this dark stuff so this is gonna stay but you're gonna buff it more of this white color out for here example it's not that white there yet but if I keep doing it with this little bristle thing eventually this will be white in here and you'll see the whites and blacks will make two different colors okay obviously white and black so okay so i gotta spend about this took me about uh half an hour to do this the faces are in there perfect it's kind of ghost spirits right so now i gotta spend about another i don't know i'm gonna keep buffing it you see how this is see how bright that is that's how i want the whole piece to be like this because then that red and the greens will really pop Cause I still got a spar varnish this too, right? Okay, so I'm done doing this as much as I want to now. Trust me, I could do it more. But now you can see how the white's white. I love how those faces just blend in too. Now this white wood's white wood. And then there's a the black, right? Separates it. When you guys are using that aggressive bris uh, bristle thing, I think the gray is the most aggressive one. Sorry guys, I got it mixed up with the orange. I'm not too sure, but anyways, packs of three. But you do get little marks. Um, doesn't matter, it's an outdoor piece. Who knows, maybe somebody will buy this, it'll be an indoor piece. Okay, there's lots of deficiencies in this wood, like bug holes, like I said earlier. And you can see weird things here. 
bug holes. Here's a knot. Just adds care. Who cares? I don't care. This isn't. The, this isn't. This is a trial and error kind of thing for me, right? But if you guys go to mills, you can get these things. If you have a mill around, you can get these things. They're just log cutoffs, right? To make the log square. So, anyways, now I'm gonna figure out what uh, what colors to do it. Maybe green and red. I was thinking green and red would be good colors because that's kind of uh, native colors. Um, okay, once again, guys, this is the wood dye that I use. Lee Valley ships worldwide. If you go to the Wee Lee Valley website, this is the name of the uh, wood dye that I use, powder, water-based wood dye. And there you go, Lee Valley. So I think I'm gonna do green and red. That's it, that's my final choice. Okay, so I got the red and the green mixed up, so it's gonna be red and green. You know, I'm kind of confused if I'm gonna do green faces and a red background, or red faces and a green background. So I reached out to my good buddy Pete because I value his opinion, okay? And then uh, he said, not red and blue, and I agree, I agree on that. But red and green, so I think, uh, I'm not too sure. We'll see what happens when um, I'm done. Uh-oh, we might have a super big problem here. I think the problem is I might have a hard time wanting to sell this. There you go, Pete. Pete red faces for the natives and the green color as for the color of earth. Oh, boy. This might be one of my favorite pieces yet. Wait till I spar this sucker. <laughs> hey, Glenn. Out there in Quebec, what do you think, bro? This is Jordy Happy. Here's an example, guys. This is why I, I, I had to come and do this today. I had to, to make up for the one that didn't work out yesterday. I had to challenge myself and keep pushing forward, guys. And you can do it too. If you got one that sucks and doesn't turn out, your next one might not be better. The next one after that might not be better. But then eventually, one of yours is going to be better. Okay, so I'm going to dry this off with my heat gun now. And I'm going to take it home. And I'm going to spar it. I might get some, uh, I might go get some new spar varnish. Uh, maybe not so glossy stuff. Somebody put this inside their house. So let me draw it and I'll be back. Super happy. Super pumped. Thanks for the advice, Pete. Okay, so it's all dried up. I am pretty happy with it. I put a little bit of red down there too, just to, it's hard to get a full visual of it. You know, because I'm happy with it, actually, I fucking love it. But I'm not bragging. If you guys love your art, I think in my opinion again, if you're going to brag about it, it gives people a chance to criticize. It gives people a chance to give their opinions if you're going to be bragging about your art, right? So just, it is what it is. So now I want to show you guys something quickly here. Okay, it's all dry. Look at the depth in these, these how the grains pop now, okay? That's real depth. I want to show you one here, like, like right there. See, it's like stairs. <laughs> A good example is right here. When you carve deeper, you're gonna get the depths like this. Okay. When, I, sorry. When you burn deeper, you're gonna get bigger stairs like this. The grains are gonna pop, right? And the more that you sand it with those flapping discs, the more that you're gonna get this effect. Let's see. See that? It's rippled like waves. Okay. I burnt really deep here. So now I'm going to go get some more uh, poly shade. Take it home. There's some defects. Like, see there? That, what can you do? It's the wood. It's wormholes. Look, it's a wormhole right here. Who gives a shit? Like I said, it lets people know it's real wood. Cracks. Who cares? Cracks. Who cares? It's real wood. What do you expect? 
this guy's like a mystical thing. These guys are like mystical in the forest. Just, uh, I don't know. I'm going to be putting this in my living room. Damn right. I don't know if I'll be able to sell this one. Not bragging. Just saying to myself how much I love it. And sometimes I speak out loud. Okay, so I'm going to wrap up here and uh, take her home and get the finish on it. Guys, I got the piece in my car to take home. But I got this piece set up for tomorrow. This whole sl cedar slab is edge grain. See, uh, sorry, face grain. This is face grain. The whole thing is face grain. You look at the the uh, age rings there. The whole thing. So I'm going to be thinking tonight when I'm coming back to carve this sucker tomorrow. <laughs> it's going to be Shosogi man. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes it is. Super happy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Perfect. Okay, so here's the final outcome. Once again, the spar varnish made it really dark super dark you can see the green in here you can see it all it looks burnt in see how much brighter the red is than the green so i like this piece but i don't love it as much as i used to because well you just don't see all the shosugi ban okay does that make sense so Okay, I'm gonna go attempt this again tomorrow. I'm gonna do it on this piece. This is something that I carved when I first started carving, actually. I'm gonna burn it. This has varnish on it, but that will just burn off, okay? So this is cedar. I'm gonna just go burn this piece tomorrow, burn the hell out of it. And then I'm gonna do it one color, blue, red, or green. And I'm not gonna use spar varnish on it, okay? I'm going to use some other thing. Not so shiny too. This is pretty shiny. I didn't think it would. I still needs to have a couple, another coat on there too. But you know, it would look cool in somebody's living room, right? Like, it's hard. That's the thing about carving long pieces. It's so hard to get a visual of it. That looks pretty dark there. And the camera it does anyways. Okay. That's how you learn guys, just keep trying it. I'm happy with the way the face has turned out with the green. It's a little bit too dark. But you can really see the Shosugi band, that's all from burning there now, right? And up there, look at that from burning. Look at the layered effects. See it? There, now you can really see it. So, but this is almost black up here. You can see a little bit of the green. But whatever, it is what it is. That guy looks cool. Kind of looks like uh, that guy off Star Wars. What's his name? Uh, that guy that with the red face. Don't hate it. I like it a lot. It's not a piece I'd sell cheap. But tomorrow, let's do a quick video on doing this. Just without the spar varnish. Thanks, guys. Hope you're good.